Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to learn about public key cryptography. Okay. So till now, we have learned about symmetric key cryptography. In symmetric key, basically if we have a message M, then we encrypt it with the same key and at the receiver end, he also decrypts it with the same key okay so when you apply the same key twice you will get the original message so require sender receiver they should be agreeing with a shared secret key okay so that if i write something it will be encrypted message which cannot be understood by others but the problem is how to agree on a key in the first place particularly if we have never met okay so let's try to see so there a new kind of cryptography was introduced that is known as public key cryptography here the sender and the receiver they don't share a secret key so the sender and the receiver they don't have a shared secret key but what they have there is a public key and there is a private key so the private key is known only to the person myself okay but my public key will be known to all of the other people in the world okay so public encryption key is known to all okay so people if they want to send message to me they will use the public key which is known to all to encrypt my message okay but that encrypted message can only be decrypted by me who has the private key okay for decryption so this is the important thing here so let's try to see now so this is a plain text okay and let's say this is bob okay so bob so alice is there and alice wants to send a message okay to bob but she is writing some secret love message and she does not want others to read it okay so alice does not want others to read her message so i love you okay but she wants that this should be encrypted to something like dollar hash dot something like this so that even if someone reads this letter or message it's not known so what she will do she knows the public key of bob okay so public key of bob is denoted by kb plus which is the public key and the private key to decrypt that message is there only with bob okay so this message s dollar question mark dot open bracket closed bracket the encrypted message cannot be read by anyone else except the person who has the private key kb minus okay so kb plus the shared public key is known to all but the private key key is not known to anyone else except bob so alice sends the message okay so message m she encrypts it with kb plus this is the encrypted message s dollar question mark etc and this is received by bob now bob when he applies the private key he can now decrypt this message and it becomes m okay so he can only do that but let's say if trudy the intruder has that message and she applies her private key so this is for trudy so if she applies this on the message then she will again get something m dash dash okay which is not equal to m okay so she cannot read the actual message so this is public key cryptography so what are the properties public key encryption algorithm so we have requirements that we should have a kb plus a public key and a private key such that you can encrypt with the public key but only the corresponding the authentic receiver can decrypt the message and it will become m so given a public key kb plus it should be impossible to compute the private key that is also important because 
everyone is having the public key for bob so it should not happen that i can guess the private key from the public key then what will happen everyone can decrypt this message so these are the two requirements for public key encryption and this way you can encrypt and one of the most famous public key algorithm is rsa algorithm which was developed by rivest shamir and adelson okay so let's try to see this algorithm